Hi and welcome back. In this video I will show you how to put calendar in your Excel workbook. For example, you need to create some schedule for not forgetting something and you require a special format, for example, not the whole year but some certain months. How to do this? In this case, you should go to File. After that, you can see that there is a lot of templates that are presented in this sheet. You can go to the More Templates and here you can type or this in this bar line calendar, press enter. The Excel will search for you some templates that are already convenient and very suitable. I will choose this one, academic calendar. Let me do this. And push create. Now, as you can see, the calendar was added in my Excel workbook. And what I can do in this calendar? I can add some event. Event 1, event 2. Okay, it is clear, I think. Moreover, I can change the number, uh, the month. September, let me start from November, for example, and what I can see that all the dates was changed also in this calendar. I will scroll it down and I can see that the next month was also changed. It is convenient, useful. Okay, let me scroll it down till the end and what we can see we can see that the last month here is October. Yes, that's correct because it is for the whole year. You can also notice that this year is 2023. For your convenience, you can change this year for 2024, for example. All the dates will also be changed. 2024, 25, next, okay. Another feature that is also very useful that that you can change the start date of your calendar. This calendar is starting from Monday, but for instance, you need to start it from Sunday. You can choose from this drop down list required date Sunday. OK, it works. Moreover, you can change the template of your chart. Uh, you can go to page layout, after that change the fonts for Calibri, for example, it is changeable, change some effects and so on. Use it, have fun, take care and bye-bye.